you are the monster. I got Jehovah, yeah, you are the monster. Uh, oh, you are the monster. Lion of Judah, you are the monster. I am that I am, and you are the most I got. Would you ever hear? 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 You are the most I got. Oh, you are the most I got. King of glory, you are the most. All I know about you, that you are the most I got. Oh, you are the reason why we are gathered here. Yeah, you are the most I God. Oh, you are the reason why we are praying, Father. You are the most. All I am about you, that you are the most. Oh, King of glory, you are the most I God. Oh, Jehovah, hey, hey, hey. Jehovah, ah, ah, ah. Jehovah, hey, hey, hey. Jehovah, oh, oh, oh. oh, Jehovah, you are the most high. Oh, you are the most high king of glory. You are most high lion of Judah. You are the most high God. You are the reason why we are gathered here. You are the most high God. You are the reason why I'm singing, Father. You are the most high I got Jehovah, you are the most high. Oh, you are the most I lion of Judah. You are the most I. Oh, you are the most I got Jehovah. Jehovah, ah, Jehovah, oh, Jehovah, you are the most high. Oh, you are the most high, God, King of glory, you are the most. Oh, Lion of Judah, you are the most high, God. You are the reason why we are gathered here, you are the most high, God. You are the reason why we are singing, Father, you are the Oh, Lion of Judah, you are the most high king of glory, you are the most high God. Jehovah, 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 oh, 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 Jehovah, you are the most high. Oh, you are the most high God. Hallelujah is the king of glory. He is the reason why we are gathered here today. He is the reason that, that, that is making us even to worship him. He is the reason of why we are living. We are living because of him. The Bible says, the Bible says in the book of Genesis uh, 35. <clears throat> sorry. The book of Genesis 1, sorry. The book of Genesis 1, verse um, Verse 26, he says, and God said, let us, uh, let, us make in, uh, let us make a man in our image after our likeness and let them, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the hair and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping things that creeps upon the hair. And 27, he said, so God created man in his own image, in the image of God. God created he him, male and female, created he them. Hallelujah. You see the joy. God created everything from the day one until the day five. But he did not create something like in his own image. But God in his love upon human being, in his also upon humanity, God created in the image of God, male and female. So as we're standing here, we're standing in the image of God and God gave us dominion over all the earth because we, are, we have power of God in us because we are like God to all the creation of God have created and he gave us dominion. Is it not enough reason for us to start worshiping him? Just to say, Father, thank you. Thank you for your love upon us. Even the angels, they don't have the image of God, but God created a man from dust to make him to have the image. What a joyful thing to have the image of God in us, to have the power of God in us, to have dominion over all these earth to us. That's the reason Satan hates us. We are going to worship God right now to say, Father, we are here. We are gathered here today to say thank you for the image of God 
that you are in us. Thank you for your power in us. Thank you for giving us six days a week. And today we are gathered here to say thank you for your divine protection. Thank you for your goodness and mercy upon our life. Let us begin to thank him. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for your goodness and mercy upon our life. Father, we thank you because you have created us in your own image. Father, thank you because you give us the power of life to do over the earth. Father, thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, for your love upon our lives. Father, we thank you because we have nothing to give you in your church. Father, we thank you because you are good. You are so you are so kind to us. Father, thank you because you are fighting the man that is against you. Father, we thank you, Lord, because Father, because you have created us over in your image, over Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, because you have created us all over in your image. In the mighty name of Jesus, first and last, Father, we give you praise. We give you the adoration. We give you the honor of God. We come for your holy name, Lord Jesus, Father. You are worthy, Lord Father. You are worthy, Lord Father, to receive all the praise, to receive all the adoration, to receive all the honor, Lord. Father, we worship you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, first and last, Father, for your love upon us. Father, we thank you. Jesus, for your divine protection upon us. Father, we glorify your holy name, O Lord Jesus. 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 We we'll give you the praise, Lord. We we'll give you the honor, O Lord. Father. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are excellent. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you for all the Father, God, you are so good. You are so kind, O Lord. Father, we say thank you. For you are so good to us, Father. You brought us from the mind. you are worthy. 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 There is no one like you, Lord. Oh my Father, my Lord, thank you. Oh my. There is no one like you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us the glory, for giving us the power, Lord Jesus. We thank you for creating us, Lord Father. In the name of Lord Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, we thank you, Lord Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. We glorify your holy name, Lord Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, Lord Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for Christmas. Father, for creating us, Lord Father, in your own image, Lord. Father, we glorify your holy name, Lord Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus. You are worthy, Lord Jesus, Father. You are excellent, Lord Father. We glorify your holy name, Lord Father. The word is not the Lord Father. Thank you. The word is not the Lord Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, Lord Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We are still thanking God. There is so many battles. The enemy came to attack you in the night. You don't know. Because God was there to fight your battle. There's a battle that God is fighting for us. He doesn't reveal it to us. He only fights for us. He just gives us a victory without even revealing to us that he's fighting. That's why we have to worship him. To say, Father, thank you for all the unseen battle that you fought for me. For your divine protection. You are not better than somebody who died. We're sleeping. You are not better than somebody who has car crashes. You are not better than somebody who sickness took, took the person. You don't need to be sick for you to die. But the grace of God make us to know this truth before we die. He make us to repent for our sin. He give us enough time to do our restitution, to amend our ways, to work out our salvation. Is it not enough to worship him? Let us begin to thank him. Somebody went to hell. He had this message. He did not accept it. But for you, accept it is the grace of God. Let us begin to thank him for that grace that appeared to us to teach us how to deny all the ungodliness in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, for your grace, Lord Jesus, Father, that you give us, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, for 
Jesus to accept the message, the, the, the message of holiness and holiness, the message of righteousness and holiness and righteousness, Father. And we are so grateful. We are so thankful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are so good, Lord God. And then there is so other God to come. There is so other God to come. Father, you are the Most High God. You are the Most High God. You are the Most High God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. I give you the praise. I give you the praise, Lord. I give you the praise, Father. I give you the adoration, Lord. I give you the honor, Lord Jesus. There is no one like you, King of Glory. There is no one like you, Father. There is no one like you, Lion of Trouble. There is no one like you, King of Glory. Father, we glorify your holy name, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for every member. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are wonderful, God. You are great, Father. Almighty God, we say. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you the praise of the Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father. We thank you, Lord. We glorify your holy name, Father. We give you the praise of the Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father. There is no one like you, King of Glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we glorify your holy name. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, there is no one like you. There is no one like you, King of Glory. There is no one like you, King of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, God, we say thank you, Father. You are so good. You are so kind. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We bless you, Jesus. Amen. We are going to humble ourselves before the Lord because the Bible says God has created us in his own image. But the image of God is love. The image of God is the righteousness. The if, image of God is holiness. We are going to say, Father, have mercy. In any way that you come out of your image, when you lie, you come out of the image of God. When you, when you, um, uh, 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 did not forgive anybody. When you sin against God, you come out with, on the image of God. We are going to say, Father, any way that I came out of your image, any way that I'm not standing with your image before you, Father, have mercy. Forgive me. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Father, I humble myself. I humble myself before the throne of mercy. I humble myself Father, you ask for mercy. Anything, Father, that make me to come out of your image. Anything, Father, that make me Anything not to have your image on me, Father. Have mercy, no, Father. Take it away, take it away, take it away. In the name of Jesus, Father, take it away. Have mercy on me, O Lord, Father. Forgive me, forgive me, O Lord, Father. Forgive my children, O Lord, Father. Forgive my siblings, O Lord, Father. Forgive my family member. Forgive, O Lord, Father, every member of my family. Forgive every member of this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus, Christ, as I told you, Father, any sin, any iniquity that is making me, O Lord, Father, to come out of your image, Father, no, Father, please, 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 Take it away from me in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, anything, anything that is not pleasing you in my life, Father, take it away. Take it away, take it away, take it away, take it away. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 23, I say, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless into the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The only thing that can preserve us to be blameless for the, until the coming of our Lord Jesus is only the blood of Jesus. Only the blood of Jesus can sanctify our soul, body, spirit. Only the blood of Jesus can purify us, make us whole again. So we are going to bring the blood of Jesus to cleanse our soul, body, spirit. To be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord Jesus. We are going to bring the blood of Jesus to cleanse our garments of salvation, our robe of righteousness. To remove every spot, every stain in there. In the name of Jesus, let us bring the blood of Jesus. 
Oh Lord, my heavenly Father, that that bleed the blood of Jesus Christ in my soul, to cleanse all my Father, my soul, body, my garment of salvation, my robe of righteousness, my children's of righteousness, my children's garment of salvation, my children's robe of righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Father, 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 Jesus Christ,
before him. Everywhere, they, every evil power they are gathering against the children of God, they hate God. Because they hate God, because they are gathering to plan evil. Let's go that rise in that infirmity to scatter them and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, whatever my enemy, the enemy of my soul are gathering right now, whatever the powers of darkness are gathering right now, under the sea, in the land, in the forest, wherever they are gathering, trying to quench my spiritual fire, trying to destroy my prayer altar, whatever they are gathering, planning evil against me, against my children, against my family against this ministry, against the body of Christ. Father, as they are gathering, Father, rise and scatter them. Scatter them, destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, nullify all their evil plans. Nullify all their evil plans. Whatever they are planning, oh Lord Jesus Christ, Father, scatter them, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Scatter them, destroy them. Scatter them, destroy them. Scatter them, destroy them. Scatter them, destroy them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, destroy every gathering of the enemy. Whatever they are planning right now. Father, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them in the name of Jesus Christ. Scatter them all over in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, scatter them all over Jesus Christ. Scatter them all Scatter them all. Scatter them all. Scatter them all over Jesus Christ. Father, scatter them all over Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, scatter them all over Jesus Christ. Father, scatter them all over Jesus Christ. Scatter them all. Scatter them. Destroy them all over. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, scatter them, Lord Jesus Christ, Father, scatter them wherever they are gathering, Lord, for a planning, planning people. Father, scatter them, destroy them, Lord, destroy them, Lord, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, scatter them, Lord, Father, scatter them, destroy them, Lord, for a planning, planning people. Father, scatter them, destroy them, Lord, destroy them, Lord, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, Father, scatter them, Lord Jesus Christ, scatter them, Lord, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, wherever they are gathering, Lord, for a planning people, Father, scatter them, Lord Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, scatter every gathering of the enemy under the sea, in the land, Lord Jesus Christ, in the Father, destroy their evil gathering, make them powerless. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the body of Christ. We are going to say, Father, arise in the body of Christ, O Lord Jesus. Father, restore your children, those that are holding your righteous, you are, are holding your truth in a righteous way. Father, arise, O Lord, Father, restore them back, that the enemy will not have dominion over their life in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, O Lord Jesus, Father, today is the day that we gather, O Lord Jesus, Father, to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Christ, arise, O Lord Jesus, Christ, O Lord, Father. Father for your children, O Lord Jesus, for so that's at all in the mighty name of Jesus, for so that's at all. Father, do not allow the Lord for the enemy, O Lord, for to have the will over your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, for so that's at all. Father, rise, O Lord Jesus, for so that's at all. Rise, O Lord, Father, rise, O Lord Jesus, Father, fight for it. For us, O Lord, fight your children, O Lord, for that. Restore them, O Lord, for that. Those that are not standing anymore, Father, restore them. Those that are not standing anymore, O Lord, for that, restore them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, those that are not standing, O Lord, for that, restore them, O Lord. Restore them, Father. Restore them, Father. Restore them, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, restore all of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your children, all of Father, restore them, all of Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, restore them, all of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Make them all of Father to stand. Make them all of Father to do well, all of Father. Let them all of Father to please you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all of Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are going to pray. The Bible says in Psalm 19, verse 14, that it, it says that let the word of thy mouth and the meditation of your, my mouth be accepted, the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable into thy sight, O Lord my strength and my redeemer. We are going to say, Father, let today my spirit, my soul, body, spirit to, to be submit unto you. Let the word of my mouth and the meditation of my, my heart to be accepted unto you. Today is a day of worship, today of praising God. Let, let us praise God in the spirit and truth. We are not going to praise him with our mouth and our heart is far from him. Let us pray. Father, let the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted unto you. As I'm going to worship you today, Father, let me worship you in the spirit and truth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, let the word of my mouth, Lord, Father, and the meditation of my heart, Lord, Father, to be connected unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. To be connected unto you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, let me, O Lord, Father, be able to worship you in the spirit and truth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.
Amen. We are going to meditate. We are going to pray to intercede for our brethren, those that are still in the world and those that are living double life, claiming that they are Christian. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians 1, verse 8, it says, in flaming fire, taking vengeance of them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Those that are fighting the gospel of God, thinking that God, they can misuse the grace, coming to the house of, house of God with their fornication, with their lying spirit, with their silly mind. We are going to pray for them that the flaming fire is coming for those that are playing with this uh, uh, doctrine of salvation. Those that are playing with the gospel of God. We are going to pray, Father, have mercy on them. Have mercy on them, encounter them, oh Lord, Father, let their eyes open. Let their eyes open to know, to accept the truth so that they will not perish, so that they will not face the other side of God in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we commit the body of Christ into your hand, oh Lord Jesus Christ. Those that are holding, oh Lord, Father, those that are taking misusing grace, oh Lord Jesus Christ. Those that are not walking their salvation with fear and trembling. Those that are doing whatever they are doing, believing that you overlook them. Father, you overlook them. Father, have Father, have mercy, oh Lord Jesus Christ. Father, have mercy, oh Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, before it's too late, before it's too late, all of in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Father, have mercy, Lord Father, upon your children, Lord Father, have mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Lord Father, touch them at fresh, Lord Jesus, Father, encounter them, Lord Father, make them, Lord Father, to hear, make them, Lord Father, to hear, Lord Jesus, Father, and to be saved, Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, make them, Lord Father, to hear and to be saved, in the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, in Jesus mighty name we pray. We are going to commit today's Amen. message and the whole service in the hand of God. We are going to say, Father, we commit everything that you are going to do in this service into your hand, Lord, for the Holy Spirit to come and take over. Come and lead us in every step that you are going to take. Come and lead us with it in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, starting from worship, pray, uh, praise and worship, Lord, Father, we commit it into your hand, Lord Jesus, because on us, Father, the testimony, the word of God, Lord, Father, the Bible reading, everything that you are going to do, Lord, Father, we commit it into your hand, Lord Jesus, Father, come and take control. Come and lead us, Lord, Father, in every step that you are going to take, Lord, Father, be with us, Lord, Father, lead us, Lord, Father, direct us, Lord, Father, through your Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus, because on us, Father, direct us, Lord, Father, in everything that you are going to do, Lord Jesus, because on us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, because on us, in Jesus' mighty name Amen. we pray. Amen. We are going to commit the servant of God that God is going to be to use as an instrument to deliver the message God has for us today. We are going to say, Father, fill up with the spirit of boldness. Fill up with the spirit of boldness to deliver the message the way God wanted to deliver without moving anything, without forgetting anything in the name of Jesus Christ. And as I let us pray. Father, we commit yourself and to Father into your hand, Lord Father. Fill up with the spirit of boldness, Lord Jesus, Father, to deliver this message, Lord Father, according to your will. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and as I tell Lord Father, fill up with the spirit of boldness, Lord Father. The Holy Spirit, Lord Father, to use her mind, Lord Father, that she will not forget anything, Lord Father. She will deliver the message the way you give it to her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. She will not forget anything, Lord Father, that you want for your children, Lord Father. Connect your children, Lord Father, to hear. Connect those that you have you want to speak to. Connect them, Lord Father, through this video, Lord Father, through this message of today, to hear what you have for them, Lord Jesus Christ. And the word that you're going to hear, Lord Father, to bring confirmation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to commit the year as the followers, those who are going to say, Father, connect your children. As the Bible say in James, James chapter 1, verse 22, it said, But be ye doers of the world and not the hearers only, deceiving your own self. We are going to pray, Father, as you want to connect your children that you want to speak to, to be connected to this message, make them not to be the doer, the hearer only, but also to be the doer of your word. This word of today to bring transformation in all in our heart, in the out of the years, in the heart of those that are going to be connected through this video, in the name of Jesus, let us pray. Father, we commit to Lord, those that are going to hear the word of God, those that are going to hear this message, Lord, Father, connect them, Lord, Father, connect with the people that you are saying to hear this word, Lord Jesus, Father, connect them, Lord, Father, for your glory, connect them, Lord Jesus, Father, make them, Lord, Father, to be transformed through this message of today. Father, let them not be the hearer only, but also to be the doer of your word in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, make us, Lord, Father, to be the doer of your word on the hearer only. Father, let this word of today, Lord, Father, bring transformation in our life, Lord, Father. Talk to us, Lord, Father, as you want to talk to us, Lord, Father. According to the state of our heart, Lord, Father, talk to us, Lord, Father, for us, Lord, Father, to be free, for us, Lord, Father, to find ourselves, for us, Lord, Father, to be free. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.
Hallelujah. Let us begin to thank God for answering our prayers and cover all our prayers with the blood of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Father, for answering our prayers. We cover all our prayer with the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your presence in our midst, oh Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit, oh Lord Father. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that is covering us, oh Lord Father, against every powers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That was our opening prayer. Now we are going to the next session of praise and worship. The Bible says in Psalms 146, verse 1 to 2, He said, praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Oh, my soul, why I live, will I praise the Lord? I will sing praise into my God while I have any being. Hallelujah. So this is the reason why God created us, to worship him, to glorify his holy name, just to sing praise and worship to him. That is the one that touches the, the, the throne of God. Hallelujah. Remember Paul and Silas, they pray and sang, and the chain broke in their hearts, in their, um, in their hands, in their legs. And the, the children of Israel, they praise and worship God. The whole of Jericho fell down, whatever you are going through. Just forget about everything. This is the time God want us to worship him in the spirit and truth don't worship god when your your mind is traveling thinking about your bills thinking about your stress thinking about anything just forget about everything concentrate just to see the glory of god hallelujah may the lord bless you i'm going to welcome our sister sister testimony for the praise and worship may the lord bless you my sister and over to you hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah Praise the mighty Jesus. Hallelujah. It's time for praise and worship. I want to bless the name of the Lord for the grace he has given to us. We want to celebrate our maker. We want to bless him because he's our God, he's our everything. So let's close our eyes by worshiping the Lord. We want to give him thanks. We want to give him thanks because he deserves it. He deserves our worship. Let's begin to worship the name of the Lord. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, we Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, for this wonderful moment, Lord, Father, in your presence, Lord, Father, we worship you, Father, to glorify your holy name, Lord, Father, we worship you, Lord, Father, in the spirit, we worship you, Lord, Father, we worship you, Lord, Father, we give you the praise, Lord, Father, we worship you, Lord, Father, we give you the praise, 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 Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, for your goodness and mercy upon our life. We thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, you are worthy to be praised, Lord Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, everlasting Father, we give you the praise, we give you the adoration, we give you the honor. Thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, you are worthy, you are worthy, oh Lord Jesus, Father. Thank you, everlasting Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Greetings. Amen. Is two, two. I want us to clap our hands very well and dance to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> He's the mighty God. Jesus is the mighty God. He's the mighty God. He's the mighty God. Jesus is the mighty God. Glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, praise the Lord, glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, praise the Lord. Oh, glory, 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 hallelujah, glory, glory, we praise the Lord, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, praise the Lord. Hey, almighty God, who oh, bless your name. Almighty God, we give you thanks for your grace and for your salvation. 
Almighty God, who we'll bless your name, who we'll bless you, Almighty God, who we'll bless your name, Almighty God, who we'll bless your name for your glory and salvation, Almighty God, who we'll bless your name, our hands, Almighty God, who we'll bless your name. Almighty God, who we'll bless your name for your glory and salvation. Oh, Almighty God, who we'll bless your name, who we'll bless you, Almighty God, who we'll bless your name, who we'll bless you, Almighty God, who we'll bless your name for your glory and salvation. Almighty God, who we'll bless your name. Eh, glory be to the Lord, Alleluia. Glory be to the Lord, Alleluia. Our hands, our hands to the Lord, to the Lord. Glory be to the Lord, Alleluia. Glory be to the Lord, Alleluia. Glory be to the Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, Jesus is the mighty God. Is the mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 To the Lord. To the Lord. To the Lord. Hey, Jesus is the mighty God. Is the mighty God. He's the King of Kings. He's the King of Kings. Is the Lord of Lord, is the Lord of Lord, heaven and earth bow before him, is the mighty God. Heaven and earth bow before him, is the mighty God. Our hands. Yeah. Baba, you are worthy to be praised, oh God. You are worthy to be praised, oh God. Um, hey, our hands. You are worthy to be praised, oh Lord. 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 Our oh, hands. Hey, give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Every day of your life. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks every day. Come on, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks to the Lord. How are you? My husband is coming to take me home to everlasting home. I am married to Jesus, Satan, leave me alone. I am married to Jesus, Satan, leave me alone. My husband is coming to take me home to everlasting home. Hallelujah, I am married to Jesus, they will leave me alone. I am married to Jesus, Satan, leave me alone. My husband is coming to take me home to the last Jesus is coming, hey, my brother. Jesus is coming, hey, my sister. Jesus is coming. Oh, brethren, how prepare are you? Are you? How prepare? How prepare? How prepare you, my sister? How prepare? How prepare? How prepare you, my brother? I am married to Jesus, Satan, leave me alone. I am married to Jesus, Satan, leave me here alone. My husband is coming to take me home to 
you everlasting, you know, hallelujah. I am married to Jesus, Satan, leave me alone. I am married to Jesus, Satan, leave me alone. My husband is coming to take me home. You everlasting, you know. Our hands, tutu, tutu. Yeah. Glory be to the Lord. Glory be to the Lord. Glory be to the Lord. Be to God forever. Glory be to the Lord. Glory be to the Lord. Glory be to Jesus, our Maker, our Savior. Glory be to the Lord. Glory be to the Lord forever. Glory, 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 glory be to the Lord. Glory be to the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. Glory be to God forever. Glory, 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 glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus, to our maker, to our redeemer, our savior. We are blessing you. Hey. Glory be to God. Glory be to God, our maker. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. Hey. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Be to Jesus. Our maker, our hands. Abraham blesses our mind. Abraham blesses our mind. I am blessed in the morning. I am blessed in the evening because Abraham blesses our mind. Hallelujah. Abraham blesses our mind. Abraham blesses our mind. I am blessed in the morning. I am blessed in the evening because Abraham blesses the man. Hey, my hands are blessed. My hands are blessed with the blessings of the Lord. With the blessings of the Lord. Her hands are blessed. Her hands are blessed. With the blessings of the Lord. With the blessings of the Lord. Anything we touch. Anything we touch. Surely must be blessed, surely must be blessed. Her hands are free with the blessings of the Lord. Our hands. Yeah, I have the Lord. There is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God. There is your name, you are the Lord, you are the Lord. There is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, hey, that is your name. Almighty God, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. Almighty God, Almighty God, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. Hey, hey, Baba, hey, Baba, hey, Baba, be glorified. Hey, Baba, hey, Baba, hey, Baba, be glorified. Our hands, we are calling on to Abba Father. We are calling on to Jesus, the Savior of the world, the Savior of our soul. We are calling on to him. We are calling on to Abba Father. Because it's worthy to be praised, because it's worthy to be exalted. Hey, hey, Baba, hey, Baba, hey, Baba, be glorified. Hey, Baba, hey, Baba, hey, Baba, be glorified. Have a Father, 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 be glorified. Father, be glorified. Have a Father, be glorified. Amen. Let's sing that song very well. 
that Jesus should be glorified in our lives, that Jesus should be glorified in our ministry, that Jesus should be glorified in our Christianity life, in our Christianity journey, that Jesus himself should be glorified. Hey, Baba, hey, Baba, hey, Baba, be glorified. Hey, Baba, hey, Baba, hey, Baba, be glorified. Hey, Baba, be glorified. Hey, Baba, be glorified. Hey, in our life, be glorified. In our Christian life, be glorified. In our ministry, be glorified. In our marriage, be glorified. In our home, be glorified. In our journey, be glorified. Hey, Jesus, hey, Jesus, hey, Jesus. Jesus, take all the glory. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus, be glorified. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus, be glorified. Hey, Jesus, be glorified. Hey, Jesus, be glorified. Oh, hands. Come. Come. Hey, come to Jesus. Hey, brother. I say, come, hey, sister. I say, come, hey, the journey is sweet. The journey is sweet. The journey is sweet. I call you, come. Come, my brother, come. My sister, come, hey. My brother, come. The journey is sweet. My brother, come, hey. My sister, come. My brother, come. The journey is sweet. Come and taste Jesus, come, hey. My brother, come. My sister, come. The journey is sweet. He is very sweet. My brother, come. Hey, come to Jesus. My brother, come. The journey is sweet. My sister, my sister, come. Hey, I ask you, come. Hey, I ask you, come. The journey is sweet. Hey, my brother, come, come, come to Jesus. Come, come, come to Savior. Come, come, come. The journey is sweet. The journey is sweet. My brother, come. My sister, come. Hey, my brother, come. The journey is sweet, he is sweet. Jesus, sweet. I say, come, Jesus, sweet. I say, come, Jesus, sweet. I say, come. My brother, come to Jesus. My brother, come to Jesus. My brother, come. The journey is sweet. Hey, come and taste Christ, the Savior of the world, the manifest. My brother, please come. Hey, my brother, come. The journey is sweet. Hey, my brother, come and see Jesus. Come. Hey, my brother, come. My sister, come. The journey is sweet. My brother, come. My sister, come. Hey, my brother, come. The journey is sweet. Come. Hey, he paid it all. On the cross, hey, my brother, come, 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 my sister, come, 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 my brother, come, 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 the journey is sweet. My brother, come, my brother, come, my brother, come, my sister, come, my brother, come, the journey is sweet. My brother, come, my sister, come. Everybody come, the journey is sweet. Let's close our eyes and wave our hands to Jesus, to our maker. Let's wave our hands to the savior of the world. Let's wave our hands and appreciate him. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him thanks. Let's return all the glory back to him because it deserves all our glory. It deserves all our praises. There is a song that says, if we cook rice for Jesus, he will never eat. If we prepare a delicious meal for our God, he will never take it. But what he can take from us is our appreciation. So because of this, let's give him thanks. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him thanks. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are worthy, oh Lord. Invisible God, 
and miracle worker. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are worthy, Jesus. Ah, our maker, our savior, our redeemer. Ah, you are worthy, oh Lord. There is no one like you. You have been before the world began. You have been in a system before we create the world. You are worthy, oh Lord. Invisible God. And Miracle worker, you are worthy, oh Lord, a shape of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change, a shape of days. As old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul. And worship his holy name. Worship the Lord. Worship, worship God. Worship God. And worship his holy name. For in Jesus, the mighty name, we have worship. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, my sister. Praise the Lord, all my soul. To worship God like never before is worthy. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. I have to call you again, my sister, for him. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. So over to you again. Praise the Lord. We are singing our gospel hymns and song. The title is In Time Like This. In time like this that we find ourselves as a Christian. As we listen, may the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. I sing in Jesus' name. In time like this, you need a Savior. In time like this, you need a nine call. Be very sure, be very sure. Your hand caught us and gripped the solid rock. Hey, this rock is Jesus. Yes, he is the one. Your hand caught us and gripped the solid rock. Two. In time like this, you need a Bible. In time like this, do not be high, do be very sure, be very sure. Your hand calls and grieve the solid drug. This rock is Jesus. Yes, he is the one. This rock is Jesus. Yes. Is the one be very sure 
be very sure. Your hand caught all angry, the solid drop. In time like this, I have an anchor. In time like this, I'm very sure. I'm very sure. My hand got old and grave the solid rock. This rock is Jesus. Yes, he is the one. This rock is Jesus. Yes, he is the one. I'm very sure. I'm very sure. My anchor oars. And grief to the solid drum. Amen. I pray the Lord will make this to stand to the very last day in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Ah, God bless you, my sister. In time like this, wow. If this is the time to be more focused. Hallelujah. This is the time to be sure that our hand is clean before him. Hallelujah. This is the time that you have to check ourselves and do what to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Because very soon, very soon, we have to stand before him. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, my sister. In the name of Jesus, more grace in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now. Is the bar is the time that God has commanded as is among the, the commandment of God we should meditate and read his word. He said day and time. Hallelujah. So I'm going to welcome our brother, our young evangelist to be our brother Jason for the Bible reading. May the Lord bless you as you read the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I read Psalms chapter 32, verse 1 to 11. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guilt. When I kept silence, my bones waxed all through my roaring all day long. For day and night, thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned to jaw of summer. I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and mine iniquity have I not hid? I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Mm -hmm. This is shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a word, in a time when thou mayest be found, surely in the floods of great waters, they shall not come nigh unto him. Thou art my hiding place, thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt come past me about with songs of deliverance. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Be ye not as the horse or as the mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with a bit of bridle, lest they come near unto thee. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusteth in the Lord, mercy shall come past him about. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, he righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, my brother. Blessed are he that the sin of what have been forgiven. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you for this Bible reading. More grace in Jesus' name. Now, after reading the word of God and you put it in practice, there's always testimony that comes after. And this is the time that you want to call testimony time <laughs> blessing time 
Hallelujah. Any testimony by the grace of God? We have testimony. Look at our faces, how the, the way our faces are shining. We have testimony. I know we have testimony. Sister Irene is laughing. Hey, my sister, there's no small testimony. All testimony is bigger. You understand? Because we are putting the enemy to shame. When you testify, you are showing Satan that all your effort that you did so far is zero. Our God is powerful. Hallelujah. So when it comes to testimony, any small testimony you think is small is enough to make Satan to be angry. Why? Why do you have? Why do you have to testify? Why do you have to encourage others? I, I, Satan is doing what he's doing because he wants to see sorrow in our face. But when you come, when you receive testimony, that's why the Bible said there is always joy in the morning. The, the joy always comes after. No matter how it may, the night may be long, but the always morning that comes after that long night. And that morning is the morning of joy. Hallelujah. So testimony time. Blessing time. Je vais parler en français, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> Amen. It is well in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God bless Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Um, je rends grâce à Dieu déjà pour cette opportunité qui me donne d'être présent parmi vous. Pour l'opportunité qui me donne également d'être en vie aujourd'hui. De vous voir, d'avoir les nouvelles de la famille au Cameroun. Uh, le témoignage... Également, ça va à ce que l'Éternel a fait dans ma vie, de ce qu'il continue de faire, même bien, même quand on ne, on ne se rend pas compte. Alors, je veux, je veux dire merci à Dieu déjà par rapport au, au logement. J'ai fait une demande de, de logement pour une résidence étudiante. Et à chaque fois, ça n'aboutissait pas. À chaque fois, ça n'aboutissait pas. Je me suis dit, est-ce que Dieu écoute même mes prières quand je, quand je lui agresse mes prières Parce que j'ai besoin d'un logement actuellement là où je suis. Je ne suis pas chez moi, on me demande de partir. Et donc, j'ai euh, sollicité les, les, les responsables des résidences étudiantes que vraiment, j'ai besoin d'un logement. Il y, a eu des, il y a eu des offres, mais le, le loyer était tellement très cher que j'ai dit non, je, je ne peux pas me permettre. Donc, je vais attendre. À chaque fois, j'ai déposé une demande. À chaque fois, non, votre demande, votre statut n'est pas retenu. Alors, même si c'est seulement pour un court moment que je vais être logée, en attendant de trouver quelque chose de plus stable, je veux rendre grâce à Dieu. Je lui dis merci. Même si c'est avec beaucoup d'attente, j'ai dit, mais Dieu, Dieu, j'attends, j'attends, je suis ton enfant, j'ai besoin de ça, aide-moi. Et par la grâce de Dieu, j'ai eu un retour favorable hein, cette semaine par rapport à mon logement. Je devais déjà aménager, mais je ne sais pas ce qu'il est retard encore. Mais je continue de prier parce que je crois que Dieu ne fait jamais les choses à moitié. Donc, quand il commence une chose, il, il, il accomplit jusqu'au bout. Donc, c'est pour rendre gloire à Dieu. Voilà. Merci. Amen. Ah, God bless you. God bless you. The testimony of our sister, she says she's thanking God for the grace God gave her the opportunity even to join us. Is the, the grace also to have a good news from back home, from his family. And you want to thank God about what God is doing in her life so far. And you also want to thank God because for the few, for the past few, uh, few months or few days, she was asking for the house. You know, she wanted to move from where she is now. She was, uh, she did all the requests of the house and the bin, it was just left and center, left and center. But this particular time, God has answered, they give her a place, but they have not yet moved to that place. So she's just uh, praising God because what God has started is going to perform it in her life. It's going to make it better. So that is the reason why she was thanking God. Hallelujah. So God bless you, my sister. It's true what God has started is going to perfect it. God never entered into a battle and leave it half done so as he gave you is going to be permanent in this sense let me the lord bless you hallelujah any more testimony for the glory of god yes ma'am ah yep. sister your name is already saying it all testimony <laughs> <laughs> amen over to you praise the mighty jesus firstly i want to thank god for the salvation of my soul i want to thank god for his grace the journey has been has been so tough. Actually, it has not been easy, but he has given us the grace to stand. He has promised us that he will never leave us or forsake us. Despite the challenges or difficulties, the Lord has been standing by me and my family. 
I want to thank God because he saved me from the power of sin. Praise God. My second testimony is, I want to thank God because this month, Sister Dawson will be one year six months, and um, my wedding anniversary also is tomorrow. So God has been showcased himself. He has been wonderfully to us, to my family. He has been proving himself. I've never heard any bad news concerning my family back home. The Lord has been so good. Despite the challenges in my home country, the Lord has been keeping, because anytime I call my, my mom, that, ah, how are you doing? Oh, there is no problem. They will just be telling me, ah, they are hearing the sound of the wall of rumor because there's a lot of challenges going on in my own country in which the headsmen, they were just killing anybody, killing anybody. And even though stealing, kidnapping, is difficult for people to travel even from one state to another now in my country. But I want to thank God. Anytime I call them, it has been always a good news. My siblings, they always travel around. They even said, it's been a while they traveled now because any time we say they'll be asking for 5 million. Where can we see that? But God has been so good to me and my family. God has been proving himself that he's God, that he's our savior. Because he has said it in his word, my home people, and I will give peace to them. So his covenant has been there for me and my home. So because of this, I've come to say, thank you, Jesus, for what you have done. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God is faithful. God is faithful, my sister. I thank God for your life. I thank God for your testimony. I thank God for God that is keeping you standing till this moment, you know. Thank God for your marriage anniversary. God bless you in the name of Jesus. We also thank God for the life of Sister Gospel. By the grace of God, you continue uh, age in grace in the name of Jesus. You will do the work of God as her name said in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. My sisters, yes, like you say, you cannot despise the, the challenges of happening in our own country. God knows, you know, God will always deliver. As Satan will never stop before this hand doing nothing. He will always be busy doing something, but God said, is, is, you know, his grace is sufficient for his children to cover as his grace is the one that is covering even our family. You know, as we are praying, God will also continue to protect them, you know, protect them because he knows that if everything's happened to our family, it's going to affect us and it's not the will of God for us to be sorrowful. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. We cover all these testimonies with the blood of Jesus. My testimony is to see all of you smiling, to see all of you shining, and to see all of you standing. I say thank God because many people, they started with us. They are not standing like we are standing. So seeing us standing like this is the grace of God and is the reason to say, Father, it's only your grace that can do that. We, it's not because we are special and we are better than them. It's just the grace of God that is teaching us every day to one level to another spiritually to keep the fire burning for the glory of God. Hallelujah. So we cover all this testimony with the blood of Jesus. We thank God. I'm going to welcome all of us. As you already see the one that's on Zoom, may the Lord bless you. Our sisters, those are present in Zoom. And we also want to bless those that are following, following us through uh, Facebook Live. And those that are going to follow after in YouTube, may the Lord bless you for joining us today. You are welcome all the time. Feel free to click in our video to listen to the message for to, to edify your soul. As you are running this race, the enemy is not resting. We're not supposed to sleep, to sleep like others. When you talk about sleep, we are not talking about physical sleep. We are talking about spiritual sleep. We need to be awake spiritually to stand because the time is approaching and the enemy knows that the time is approaching because of that, he himself is busy doing whatever he's doing without getting tired. We too, we're not supposed to get tired, hallelujah. So I welcome you all in the name of Jesus. If I have to call names, I will forgot one and the another one will be offended, but I'll try my best. God bless you, Sister Irene. God bless you, Evangelist Fisher, Pastor James. Brother Jason, Sister Gospel, Sister Testimony, Brother Samuel, Brother Joshua. May the Lord bless you. For those that are watching online, I cannot see your names right now, but God bless you. 
Um, hallelujah. The Bible says, man shall not live what? By bread alone, but every word that proceeds in the mouth of God. And we are here, we are gathered here now because we want to hear this word that is coming from God. We want to hear this word. God give us according to our heart. God knows the state of our heart right now. He knows the desire of our heart. He knows what we need and he knows what is not pleasing him in us. So the message will come according. The Bible said, to whom I love, I rebuke. So it might be a rebuke for you, but it might be a, for a, a promise to me. It might be another word of encouragement to another, but God is going, all I know that God is going to communicate, God is going to talk to us. So in this hour, let us pray for ourselves first, because when the word want to come out, when the message want to come out, the enemy always brings destruction. And it's that time that God will want to give you the word that the answer that you've been expecting, but because of destruction, you just pass you by. We are going to pray against the spirit of destruction before the message or during the message or after the message. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we come against every spirit of destruction in our midst as you are going to hear your word, O Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, let my spirit, O Lord, Father, be focused, O Lord, Father, to hear the message that you have for me today in the mighty name of Jesus, that the enemy will not going to stop my blessing in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord, Father, give me the grace, O Lord, Father, to hear the message in the way that you want me to hear it, O Lord, Father, give me wisdom to understand it, O Lord, Jesus, Father, give us the wisdom, O Lord, Father, to understand it, O Lord, Father, the way you want us to understand in the mighty name of Jesus, that the enemy will not come and steal it from us in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yes. Hallelujah. Now we are going to pray for the messenger of God. We are going to say, Father, Holy Spirit, use her as you want to use her. Do what only you can do in her life. Silence every flesh in her. But do, oh Lord, Father, you know us better that she doesn't know anything but you, the Holy Spirit, to talk to us in the name of Jesus. Let us pray for her. Father, we commit your messenger, oh Lord, Father, into your hand, oh Lord, Father, as you want to use her, oh Lord, Father, to be a vessel of honor, to deliver this message that you have for us, oh Lord, Father. Use her mightly, oh Lord, Father. Fill her, oh Lord, Father, with your anointing, oh Lord, Father, to deliver the message with boldness, oh Lord, Father, to deliver the message the way she want, you want her to deliver, oh Lord, Father. Father, let the message, oh Lord, Father, to be the one that is coming from your throne, that, oh Lord, Father, silence every flesh in her in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, Father, Holy Spirit, we want to hear you talking to us, oh Lord, Father, to her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. I'm going to welcome the woman of God that will be a uh, uh, will be the servant to deliver the message God has for us. God is going to use her as a face. So don't focus more on her. Focus on the words that God has for you and I in the name of Jesus. Because sometimes when you focus on the servant, you miss your blessing. Hallelujah. Let us focus on what the Spirit of God has to tell us in Jesus' name. So I'm going to welcome the servant of God, the evangelist. Fisher. May the Lord bless you as you come in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you, ma'am. May the Lord bless you. We thank God for God. We bless God for God. We thank God for today. We thank God for another Sunday of the year. We bless his holy name. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be worshipped. I would like to have a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, everlasting Father, wonderful Father, Father, I decree you increase in me, Father. I have no power on my own, but I am weak. I am weak, Father. I need your strength. I need your power. I need your fresh anointing from above all more unto, unto me right now, Father, my Lord. And Almighty God, use me as never before, Lord. And I use me for your glory in the name of Jesus, my Father. I decree you increase in me, Father. Fill me afresh with your Holy Ghost in the name of you, with your power in the name of Jesus, my Father. Speak to each and every one of us, oh Lord. But I use my mouth to be the mouth of your peace, oh my God, to speak to each and every one of us, oh my God. But Almighty God, as we are hearing your word, oh my God, your word that comes from your throne room, but I help us to put it in practice, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed, we have prayed, amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you all. Ooh, hallelujah. <laughs> Oh my God, oh my God, Daddy, I need your strength from above. <laughs> Bless God for God, amen. Bless God, I would like to sing to the glory of God before we go to the message in Jesus' name, amen. Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Jesus must be on the name of Lord every day. 
Oh, Jesus, must be Hana, must be Hana, must be Hana. Jesus, must be Hana, ni Mala, every day. My Savior, must be Hana, must be Hana, must be Hana. Jesus, must be Hana, ni Mala, every day. My Redeemer, must be Hana, must be Hana, must be Hana. Jesus must be an animal love every day. My Redeemer must be honor, must be honor, must be honor. Jesus must be an animal love every day. Savior must be honor, must be honor, must be honor. My Jesus must be an animal love every day. Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Jesus must be an animal every day. My Redeemer must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Jesus must be an animal every day. Amen. Our Jesus must be honored. Excellent daddy must be honored in my life, in your life. Every day, Jesus must be honored. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God. Our God is good. So right now, hallelujah, we are going to the message by the, by the grace of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So the message of today that God has given to me to deliver to you, to myself, we bless the name of the Lord. The message of today, hear my voice. Hear my voice. Father God, he's speaking. Father God has been, has been speaking and he still continues speaking. He wants you and I to hear his voice. When, you know, Father God might speak to you in different ways. It's not to one way he's speaking to you and I, but most of the time, we are so busy to listen to him. We say we don't hear the word. We don't hear. Father God is not speaking to me. I'm not hearing from God. That is not true. He's speaking. He's speaking. He's saying something to you. He's saying something to me. All you and I have to do, let us put our ear really close to him to hear his voice. When he whispered to you in your heart, he whispered to my heart, let us hear him. Oh, he speaks to you true when you are reading the word of the Lord, hear him, pause and listen to him. Or oh, somebody is speaking, or oh, somebody can, Father God can use your children to speak to you. Can use any, anyone to speak to, 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 to us. Father God is speaking. Father God can use anything to speak to you and to me. All we have to do, let us listen. Let us pay attention to our Father. He's worthy, he's mighty, he's excellent. He wants you to hear his voice. He wants me to hear his voice. Let us be open to hear him. Let us be open to hear him. So right now, we'd like us to turn to the book of uh, Isaiah 32. The book of Isaiah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. We bless God for God. Isaiah 32, I will start from 9 to 11. Hallelujah. God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. He's worthy to be praised, worthy to be worshipped, worthy to be adored, worthy to be magnified. There is no other God else like our Father that he wants to speak to you and I. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I read in Jesus' name. The book of Isaiah 32. Verse 9 to 11. I read in Jesus' name. Rise, 
rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, my hear my voice, say ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ne ye ne be in a trouble. Ye careless uh, women, for their the, for their vintage shall ne fail. The gathering shall ne be in a calm. trouble. Ye women that are, are at at ease, be troubled. Ye careless ones, strip you and they make you there and they get sackcloth upon your loins. Praise Master Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. Father God was speaking to the children of Israel here. It was not just only women. But here he said, uh, he said the word of the Lord said, rise up, ye women. Praise Master Jesus. Father God wants to speak to you, wants to speak to me. He wants you and I to hear his voice. As he was telling the children of God, the children of Israel, the children of Israel, the children of uh, Judah, hear my voice, my daughter. Hear my voice, my son. Father God, almighty God, he doesn't want you and I to live easy, uh, careless life. We don't care. I don't care. Anything can come. I don't care. No, we children of God must be, we must watch out. We must be careful. Because the enemy of your soul, the enemy of my soul, is not sleeping. He's looking for one way or another to take you away from the way of the Lord. He wants to draw you away from the Lord. He wants to draw me away from the Lord. But when you and I be, 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 be careless, not watching over your salvation, not watching over my salvation. We are so careless. We believe on this as uh, once safe, forever safe. Beloved, many, many that were careless before they knew what, is, what was going on, they were taken away from the way of the Lord. They were driven uh, uh, slow, uh, slowly, slowly, slowly. They were driven away because they don't. They were. They didn't pay attention. They didn't watch over their salvation. Before you know, you hear ah, that person has fallen, or oh, that person has backslidden, because that person they didn't watch over her salvation, his salvation. Praise Master Jesus. We, we, are, we, are, we, the children of God, when you are not hearing the word of the Lord, we should take it serious. We should take it serious. As I said, we should not be careless. We should not take everything easy. Ah, it's so easy now. It's so, no, salvation, your salvation, my salvation, we must know that it's 100% precious to you. It's precious to me. Because when you lose your salvation, you have lost forever. When I lose my salvation, I'm lost forever. Please, we should watch out. We should not be careless. We should not follow those people that said, ah, it doesn't matter now. Everybody's sin, everybody's the same. Everybody say, oh, you cannot, you cannot stay without sinning. That is life from the bottom of the head. Enoch, Bra Enoch was only one person. It was only him in that, in that time that was righteous. He didn't say because ah, uh, everybody's sinning. Let me join them. The word of the Lord said, you and I should not follow multitude of sin. Then the multitude and to do evil. We should not follow the multitude of people to do evil. Not that because you see your, your neighbor or your, or your co-worker or your church member or your pastor's wife or your pastor, they are doing something that you know, this is not the will of, this is not the, what God said in his word. 
We should not copy them. You and I should not copy them. We should copy what the, the word of the Lord says. We should follow the word of the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. We should hold on to the salvation. The salvation that you and I got uh, is very precious. But uh, because Lord Jesus Christ went as Ramai to be a blessing to you and I. He paid so much, he paid so much for you and I to get this salvation. He has to come from, from above, come down to this earth. So you and I, we should not play with it. We should not use it as a, as a football. We just uh, kicking it any, anywhere. Praise Master Jesus. Father God, he's speaking to you and I. We should wake up. We should hear his voice as he said here. Yeah. Hear my voice, my daughter. Hear my voice, my son. I'm speaking to you. Wake up. I should wake up. My daughters. Daughters of Zion, wherever you are. Daughters of Zion, please don't be careless. Daughters of Zion, please don't be careless. Father God said you and I said, daughters of Zion, we should wake up. Wake up and stand for your family. I should wake up and stand for my family. As Father God says. The one he has, that he has said to you and I, a concerning women, we should take it serious. We should not think uh, uh, it just, you know, it, uh, it doesn't matter. It matters. It matters a lot. As Father God wants we, we women, we should dress modestly. That is it. You cannot change it. I cannot change it. We should not be careless to dress anyhow. Our body is not, it's not, it's not our, it belongs to God. God has paid the price for you and I to dress well, to, to, to represent it. We are not representing Jezebel. We are not daughters of Jezebel. Jezebel can pack everything in, in our body. It can dress anyhow to subdue. Jezebel subdue, subdue any, any, anyone he, he wants in that, that open door for her to subdue. He can subdue that person just like that. Please. Your clothes. As a woman, dress well. Put on the, in the closet that, in the, 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 no, the, the closet. That's what I go say. Dress modestly as a woman. Let us do so. We should not meet it. Ah, my, my pastor's wife is like this. My, 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 my choir mistress is like this. No. They are not your role model. They are not my role model. My role model is Jesus. Your role model is Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Our role model is Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord for our Lord Jesus Christ for telling you, for calling you and I to hear, to open your ear, for me to open my ear and hear his voice and keep his word. He loves you. He loves me. He doesn't want to miss none of us. Oh, you are the one. You know, you, you cannot do without makeup. And you know, all those things are property of Jezebel. You're packing the makeup on your ear. fake beauty. If you now, you die with those makeup, where do you think you are going? Even though you profess that you are a, a daughter of Zion, you are a daughter of God, even though you profess it, you die with those makeup. Is that Jezebel that we call, that we, uh, she will come up and we, we claim our property from you. She will pray, claim our property from you. That is why you and I must be, we, we must be serious. Because the enemy of your soul, my soul doesn't want you to know the truth, the true, the, the true word of God. He will start turning your eyes, turning my eye to the one that doing the same thing that he wants us to do. The thing that is not pleasing to Father God, he will start doing it. 
all you and I must know. Let us hold on to Father God. The Holy Spirit is here to teach you and I. The Holy Spirit is here. That is why Father Lord Jesus Christ said, we ask Father God to bless us, with, uh, to give us Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit is telling you, my daughter, my son, how you are dressing, my, how you are dressing my daughter, you dress half naked, please, you shouldn't say it doesn't matter. Other people are doing it. You are precious. You are unique. I am unique to God. It's not how God treated me. It's not the same he will treat you. Some people can do something that you think, oh, this person, that, that person can go by with it. It, it. it can be you now. You want to do the same thing. God will not let you go by with it. Everybody has his own grace. So the grace that Almighty God has given you and I, let us use it wisely. We should not be careless. As children of God, as sons and daughters of God, we should not be careless. Because the enemy of your soul, the enemy of my soul, they are, they, he's watch, watch, uh, running up and down, looking how he will make us to fall. But greater is he that is in you and I, than he that is in the world. God will continue speaking to you and I, directing you and I, so that you and I will not fall into his, into, into his traps. God will lead you and I. God will guide you and I. Please, if you are the one, you've been, a, uh, you, you have already, you chose the holiness way, the righteousness way, that you know is without holiness, righteousness, you and I, we cannot. See the Lord. Please. If you found yourself, you have been driven away. You have been, you went, now you are on the slope, down, down, going down. Please, can, please, can you come back? It's for your good, it's for my good. Lord Jesus loves you. The enemy of your soul hates you. Because when you and I die, all those things, all those uh, makeups, uh, all those fake duties, all those, uh, uh, what they call those uh, half naked dressing, uh, in the, the, you know, you will drop them. It's your soul that we go. It's what you sow right now to your soul. It's what your soul will reap. If you are sowing righteousness and holiness to your soul right now, your soul will reap it. But if you are so worldliness to your spirit, to your soul, it's what your soul will reap. Beloved, let us watch out. Lord Jesus loves you and I. Lord Jesus wants you and I to stand for the truth. When Lord Jesus wants you and I to represent him, not representing Jezebel, not representing Satan, not, 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 not advertising the enemy of your soul or my soul. Let us advertise Jesus. He loves you and I. Anywhere we go, let, Jesus, let people see Jesus Christ in you. Let, Jesus, let people see Jesus Christ in me. We, turn, we don't even open our mouth to testify that we are Christians. Let them see. Let them see your behavior. Let them see your conduct. Your conduct that will bring glory to God. Not the conduct somebody see you, you tell them about Jesus. They say, please, you and your Jesus, take them outside. If you, 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 you that is like this, the conduct you are telling me about Jesus, so everybody will make heaven. Our character matters as well. As our dressing matters, our character matters a lot. Praise Master Jesus. Jesus loves you, and I, beloved. The one is not just a to, is the one is not just only for the women. It's for men. It's, it's for you men. It's for we women. Because one day we will close our eyes in there. Where do you want to spend eternity? By you saying that we spend eternity in heaven, it it doesn't guarantee you. It doesn't guarantee me. It's the work. It's the work on it. Not just to say. It. You, you and I can say it from today to tomorrow, and we don't put it in practice. It makes no sense. We not, it will not bring profit. Lovely Jesus. He wants to see you, proud of you. He wants to see you, say, this is my daughter. 
This is my daughter. She's pleasing to me. She's pleasing me. Because the moment you are pleasing Almighty God, He will please you as well. Our God is the God of reward, beloved. Please, our thought life. What do you think in your mind? What comes in your mind? Is it pure? Is it feeding? Do you control what is in your what comes in your mind? Without the Holy Spirit, beloved, you cannot control what is in what comes in your mind. Is by the help of the Holy Spirit. That is why you and I must live a holy life, a righteous life, so the Holy Spirit can lead you and I. If you find yourself, you said, you are a child of God, you speak in tongues, you see full of worldliness, you see full of sin, and you said you speak in tongues, that is not tongue, that is devil itself. You are speaking the, the devil language. That is why, that is why you cannot be able to overcome your sin, your, 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 your sin that, that your thoughts, the evil thoughts. Because Holy Spirit is not there. But when the Holy Spirit is there with you, Holy Spirit will control. He will tell you, my daughter, watch out. My daughter, this is not from me. My son, this is not from me. Watch out. Holy Spirit is our leader. He will guide you and guide me to all truth according to the word of God. According to what, what Father Lord Jesus Christ told you and I. Praise Master Jesus. As you, you, all these things, we are packing ourselves. We said we are children of God. Clothes, land, you know, we, we take all these things. I know for you and I, closing and say is good. But not the one that's seducing people. Not the one the clothes you wear. It, it, no, see through. People can see through. No. Praise Master Jesus. Let us dress as Father God wants us to dress as a woman. Enemy approaching. Enemy approaching. It's not sleeping. He's looking for a, a, a little hole. He's not looking for a big hole to come in your life. He's not looking for a big hole to come in my life. He's approaching any little hole. He will push, he will push through. You and I must close the door. Every day we must close the door by you and I living a holy life. By you and I obeying our Father, Almighty God. By you and I surrender to Father, surrender to, to the Holy Spirit, to live you and I, to guide you and I. Beloved, the enemy of your soul, let us watch out. Wet and the lost, wet and lost reason I be, be uh, well, bring a what? Bring fake security. I am so wealthy. Ah, this luxurious life. I cannot live without. I don't I don't smoke without. I don't drink I without. I don't no. Ah, oh, those laws, you know. Fake security. You think you are secure by you doing all those all those things that you know it's not pleasing to God. You are not secured, I'm not secured. But you and I to be secured, we must be grounded and rooted in the love of God. In the love of God. Not in the face, fake uh, security of the wealth of luxury, luxury life, uh, bringing me this, or this one, or this one. No. All those things are good, but don't let them lure you. When you see yourself, God bless you, you are rich, you have it, but don't let them lure you out of the way of God. I should not let him lure me out of the way of God. Let us be wise as children of God. Let us be wiser as children of God. Because when you and I thinking, oh, I've got it all. I've got it all. You know what is the next? Disaster is coming on the way. 
I've got it done. I thought, you know, I'm this, I'm this. I got no, uh, nobody can talk to me. I have it all. I know it all. Uh, disaster is knocking at the way. You and I must be careful. You and I, as a child of God, we must be careful. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We must be careful. If you and I abandon, abandoning God, that you and I, we are hearing the word of the Lord, we abandon his word. We abandon his word, we don't care. You are hearing somebody is telling you the word of the Lord. You said, uh, I don't care. It's, it's, this is, uh, I don't care. I don't, yeah, if it is like this, a Christian life, uh, okay, let me just live Christian life and live my own life. Let me enjoy the life. Of, oh, you have bad on God. Not just only a bad on God. When you are bad on God, you are bad on as, uh, as well. His head. When you are in trouble, you, you, it will not come and help you. You have ab abandoned him. You, better you know, you have, uh, as you abandon him, better you know you have abandoned his help. It will not, your time of, the time of your need, the time of your help, it will not be there for you. Praise Master Jesus. Let us put value on our Father, Almighty God. Precious Father God, sweet Jesus. He loves you, he loves me. Let us walk the walk that will bring glory to him. Let us walk the walk that will bring glory to Almighty God. Not that the people will see us, uh, that we are walking to disgrace him. Or claiming the grace. Beloved. Lovely Jesus loves you and I. Let us hold on to God Almighty. He loves you. Let us turn to the book of, uh, we are seeing the book of uh, Isaiah. The book of Isaiah 3. Let us turn to the book of Isaiah 3. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. The book of Isaiah 3, 16. Hallelujah. I read in Jesus' name. The book of Isaiah 3, 16. Moreover, the Lord has said, because the daughters of Zion are haunted and, and they walk with a, with a straightened neck, a straight, straight, with a straightened foot and necks, and the water eyes, walking and the tingling as a, as a dead goal. And they're making a tingling with their, their what their feet. Beloved, daughters of Zion, wherever you are, lovely Jesus is speaking to you. He's speaking to me. He's telling you the word of the Lord is telling you and now as a daughter of Zion. Please, if you are the one. The thing in the walking of the street, you know, when you put in no high heels, it bring it pride. That high heel brings pride to you. When you are putting, as a, as a daughter of, of Isaiah, you wear high heel. How do you walk? Do you walk normal as you normally, as you walking normal before? As that is the, the word of the Lord, he said, then he said they are walking a tingly as a day and a go. You know, when you're working with the high heels, like you're working, the person working like a mermaid. You say, kaka, coco, keke, coco, kaka, coco, keke, coco. You don't, that person is not working straight. The word of the Lord said, twinkling. With their what? With their feet. One tonic. Then is that time your shoulder is so hard. I'm better than everyone. I am better than her now, no? That is what Jezebel want from you. That is what Satan want from you. To think you are the best. To think you are the, you are the most beautiful woman on this earth. No one that can compare to you. That is what the enemy of your soul 
wants you to do. That when, when you are doing that thing, when you are, when you are doing it, you should feel so powerful. The enemy clapping for you, say, ah, oh my God, continue advertising me very well. Continue. Oh, very well, very well. You will come and spend eternity with me, hair fire. Don't worry, continue, continue. Continue tingling. Continue tingling. Beloved, let us be wise. Daughters of Zion, let us be wise. Jesus loves you, Anna. Tickle on of the eyes, no making up a fake beauty. You, you, you know, some people when you know clean that makeup out. Be natural. God loves you as you as He created you. God loves me as He created. He doesn't want you to come and you know to 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 to, to make him to you know do something that will impress him. I want to impress my God by my making up to look beauty for him. No, he's the way he knows you. He knows you. Don't impress him by you making, making a fake, uh, false beauty. He loves you so much. He wants you to be how, how, the way he created you. He wants you to be like that. Praise Master Jesus. He wants you to be like that, beloved. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I would like, oh, we are seeing the book of Isaiah. Let us turn to the uh, book of Isaiah 40, 40, 48, uh, 49, 47. The book of Isaiah 47, verse 8. I read in Jesus' name. Book of Isaiah 40. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Verse 8, verse 8, 47, verse 8, Isaiah 47, verse 8. I read in Jesus, therefore, hear now this, thou that are given to pleasures, that a dwelleth carelessly, that a say in their heart, I am, and now as, I am not as beside me. Are you hearing the word of the Lord? I shall not see it as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of her children. Praise Master Jesus. You see, Father God, did, and just he, he told you and I here. That is what the enemy wants for you and I to do, so you and I to think we are better than everyone. Because when you are doing those, uh, putting all those, uh, and that, uh, those uh, seducing dresses, uh, you walk any, you walk not like you no, normally walk, walk in, you walk to subdue. The, uh, the, the word of the Lord says here, the word of the Lord said, uh, there, there, he said uh, therefore here and uh, now this, uh, therefore here now this, uh, that uh, thou are the giving to pleasures. Are you the one that giving to pleasures? You love, you love party too much. You love drinking too much, alcohol. Even though you said yourself, you're a servant of God, you still drink alcohol. A servant of God, you still love. A servant of God, you see, you see, you, you, you see, do the things that you know that is wrong, is wrong, is wrong. Praise Master Jesus. And so Father God is saying, telling you that he's speaking to you and I said that the, the one that giving themselves to pleasure, they're giving themselves to pleasures. You and I, we must deny ourselves. You and I, we must die to ourselves. We must die to our flesh. We should not let our flesh rule us. We should not let our flesh detach us. We should not let our flesh detach I do that. If everyone is doing it. It doesn't matter. It matters. That is their own. Work on your salvation. I should work on my salvation. As the word of the Lord says, he's saying to you and him now here, he said, give it to their, they give to, give to their self a pleasure, pleasure that are dwelling carelessly. Carelessly. We should not handle our salvation carelessly. It's precious. 
his precious, the one that handled the salvation. God, the Lord Jesus Christ had died to give gift to you and all. They handle it carelessly. They are burning, they close their eyes in death right now. They are burning the hellfire and there is no return. And but the enemy will close your eyes. But the enemy will say, Does it, that is not true. It's not existing. Yes, heaven is existing. Yes, hellfire is existing. Both of them are existing. But the enemy will paint. Only tell you, only heaven exists. That means you, you can do anything you want to do. It doesn't matter. Once they forever save. When you die, go to heaven. As much as they, as they, as they, you, as you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord, your, Lord, your Savior, it's over. It's over. The enemy fully himself, not you. We should not. If you are the one you see, you 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 bite your pleasure. You cannot do without pleasures. Please ask God to help you. I should ask God to help me because you don't know the day. I don't know the day God will call me and you. I don't know my aspiring day. You don't know your aspiring days. The one that think they will live uh, to the end, they will live so old. When they are getting old, now maybe they will, they want to repent. But the the death is surprised them. So when the death surprised them, right now, where do you think they are? They are bunny. They are bunny right now in the hell for you. Be giving to pleasures. Uh, you wear mini skirts. Uh, uh, your laughs are shown. Uh, you wear the what's it called? Uh, sh uh, sh uh, what's it called? The uh, bo uh, bone shot, uh, they call it. As a woman, daughters of Zion. And you can speak in tongues. And people will think uh, uh, heaven will come down right now. So you are speaking in tongues. Pa, 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 to, to, to. And God said, You are not. As a woman, we should dress modestly. As a woman, we should not put what pertains to man. Wearing trousers, it belongs to, it pertains to man. You should not argue about it. I should not argue about it. That is the word of the Lord. He said it's an abomination to him. That is it's an abomination to him. Packing jewelry on your body is an abomination to God. Father God said, You and I should not bring, uh, we should not bring gold and silver on our house. We should not put it on our body. Take less of bringing it to our house. We should detest it. That is the word of the Lord. He said that it's an abomination. It's an abomination. You cannot change it. I cannot change it. The enemy will tell you all those ones that are wearing jewelry, uh, uh, jewelry uh, all those ones that, do you think all of them are going to hell for you? Okay, I don't know, but you work on your own salvation. I should work on my own salvation. The one that, that had about this matter, that said it doesn't matter. Oh, everybody's doing it. Let me do it. They close their eyes there. They found their saying here for you where there is no return anymore. The enemy that clapping for them, telling them do it where it doesn't matter. Now they are the one demon at the one that punishing them now, right now. God will not let you and I go there. Is a terrible place. It's not a place for you and I to even drink, think of. All we have to think of, let us think of everyone, walk on towards that heaven. We should not take our back, the back of our hand and hold our salvation. Let us hold it with fist tight because it's precious. It's dear. Very precious. Very expensive, very dear. Beloved. I said, well, we are, see, we are seeing the uh, Isaiah 40, uh, 49, um, 40, 47, verse 8. So, as the word of the Lord says, he said that uh, during the carelessly, not just solely dreading, they said that they say, that they say, in their heart. They say, in their heart. Mm, I am. I am better than this. I am better than that. I am better than this person. I am better than this person. Ah, this person is not in my class. This person is not in my class. Ah, this person is a low, a low, low class people. No, I cannot mingle with these low class people. Pride. Pride. You and I must know that uh, you, you and I must know we are dust and ashes. It is not the grace of God. That we can carry ourselves so much, uh, nobody, nobody reaches. 
I thank God for the grace of God. Beloved. Love you, Jesus loves you. He's speaking to you, speaking to me. Say, hear my voice, my daughter. Hear my voice, my son. Hear my voice. He's speaking to you and I. Let us walk over our side. We should be careful. We should be careful. The enemy of your soul, my soul, hates you, hates me. So he's called. He hates you now. It's because of that he invented everything that he, he can do the inventing, don't know, to take you away, to take me away from the Lord. We have to be wise. We have to be wiser. They're giving to pleasure. You, you, are not, you say, okay, I'm a child of God. You don't have time for God. You don't read the word of the Lord. But you have time to watch your soul opera, you call them. Your city, you have time to watch them. You cannot do without your city. This is the time of your city. I must be there. Even though you are not at home, eh, you will put the record in to record you waiting for you. So when you come by, you watch your worldly things. You feed your flesh, not feeding your spirit. And the, no, no wonder the flesh is, is, is speaking so loudly that you cannot control your flesh. The word of the Lord says, you, you are now, we should meditate on the word of the Lord. Read it. As you read it, as you, we should meditate on it. The word of the Lord that didn't say, all those uh, uh, so, so popular, uh, all those celebrities, uh, what them are meditate, what they are doing, copy what those uh, celebrities, you know, and you see some of our, and some, some of the children of God, you see their house, come to the house, uh, the poster of uh, celebrities. Photos of celebrity. They are doing their hair, celebrity style. They are, they are dressing, celebrity style. Oh, pleasures. Pleasing the flesh. Jesus must be the role model in our lives. We must follow the footsteps of our Lord Jesus. The time loving Jesus was here. Had they been in his other, other, other people, let's say other pre preacher, you know, as they wanted to come and take him to be the king, immediately say, ah, I'm here, oh, I'm here, ah, it's me, oh, it's me. No, he ran away. He ran away. This earth is not mine. This earth, I'm not, it's not mine, it's not my home. He ran away, you know, where he came from and see going to heaven back. You and I, we came here as a trader. You and I, we will close, when we close our eye in there, we must go back to where we came from. But you have to choose where are we going? It's a two eternity existing. Heaven eternity. Have fire eternity. Both of them are real. Both of them are real, beloved. Praise Master Jesus. Lovely Jesus loves you, loves me. Let us walk. Let us walk the way Father God wants you and I to walk. Praise Master Jesus. Please let us turn to the book of uh, Matthew 24 12. The book of Matthew 24 12. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 24, 12. Okay. We bless the name of the Lord. I read in Jesus' name. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall not was cold. Are you here, beloved? The word of the Lord is telling you, and I said, and the because, because, let me start from 11. He said, and the, and the many prophets, and the many false prophets shall arise, and they shall deceive many. And the because 
Iniquity shall not abound. The love of many shall not was what? Cold. Some of us, we are still on fire before from the Lord. We are so zealous for the Lord. But now we are listening to the, to the first prophet. We have listened to the, to the, for, for, the, the, the one that lawing people out, out of the will of the Lord. Now we now we become cold. Now we became cold right now. Instead of you two and I to be zealous, be, 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 no, be, be no, no, I thank God for Jesus. Lovely Jesus told you and I in the word of Revelation, in the, in the book of Revelation. He says, it's better for you and I to be hot or to be cold. You cannot be both. He said, if you want to be both, I will, I will split you out. Look one place there. I will spit you out of my mouth. You better be hot or you cold. I will just know, oh, this is hot. <laughs> this is cold. But if you said you want to be lukewarm, cold and, 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 and hot, you miss it to get lukewarm. He said, I will speak, I will spit you out of my mouth. God will not spit you and I that day out of our mouth. The love you and I have for Jesus, let us keep him strong, loving him all. Let us make that love to grow every day. We should not let, allow the enemy to quench the love of God in our heart. When your love is not the, the love you, you love God at the first place, he pains for that God. He pains him. He breaks his heart. Seeing you, you love him so much before now, your love is so cold. He's seeing you. He's, just, he's sharing tears. He's tears. Tears is coming out of his eyes. My daughter, can you come back to me? My son, can you come back to the first love that you have for me? Can you come back? Please, he's sending a message to you. He's sending a message to you. You can still so speak to you in the dream, in the revelation, but don't be hard-hearted. I should not be hard-hearted. Repent, I should repent, because you and I will see the signs right now. Lovely Jesus loved you and I. He doesn't want to miss you and I, beloved. Sin cause, sin cause your love for, for God and the others by turning your focus on yourself. For you to turn your focus on yourself, you are not focused to God. Your focus is not for God anymore. It's for yourself. Now, because of that, you full of sin. Turn, it makes your love to be so cold, the love of God in your heart, so cold. Even though lovely Jesus is knocking, you don't hear. Even though he's speaking, you don't hear. Please open your door. Open the door of your heart. Open your spiritual. Let your spiritual ear be, be alerted. Let your spiritual ear be hear the voice of the Lord. He doesn't want you to cry at that, no. The one that is in the hell fire. That close your eyes, they found themselves in the hell fire. The first thing that coming out of their mouth, I don't believe, I don't belong here. Yes, because they don't belong there. At the first place, Father God didn't make it, or you and I don't make a woman be to go there. He made there for the fallen angels. Why the fallen angels were there? Because of disobedience. That is why the one that disobeyed God, the same place the fallen angels go, is where Father God sending them to. But he, would don't want, he doesn't want you to go there. So would you and I, for you and I loving him, we keep his word, we keep his commandment. No sinning, no wellowing sin. Not full of worldliness. You don't want to need to give all those worldly things. Worldliness that will lead somebody to hell for you. You don't care. Lovely Jesus loves you. He's speaking to you. Please listen. You don't know the day. You will close your eye and then. I don't know the day. I will. Maybe as I'm finishing now, maybe I will close my eye and then. I have no idea. Beloved. Heavenly rich. 
as you and I have chosen this heavenly race, let us follow me. Let us follow this way seriously. Not looking back. Focus, 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 focus on the goal. Set your mind, set your goal. I will get to this heaven. Now, don't care, no matter what it is, I will, go, I will get to this heaven. I will spend my eternity with my God. Because when you and I, we have made up our mind, the enemy of your soul, my soul, cannot change it. But when you are a, a you know, wealthy Christian, you don't know your right, you don't know your right, and the left the enemy can just, just like this. Let us let our love that we have for him continue growing. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. We thank God for, for God. Please, I would like us to turn to the book of Timothy. The book of Timothy. Second Timothy, sorry. Second Timothy 4.4. 4. Second Timothy 4.4. 4. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless God for God. Second Timothy 4.4, 4, I read in Jesus' name. And a day shall, a, and a day shall a, uh, turn away their ears. Please let me start from three. For the second Timothy, four, I start from three to four. To four. For the, the time we ne come, when a day we ne not and uh, enjoy the sound doctrine. But uh, after the, their own, but after their own lust, Shall they then a heap to the sets teachers, having each ears for, and a day shall they turn away their ears from the truth, and they shall they be turned unto water feebles. Are you seeing what is going on in the churches? Many churches, and they, is it not what they turning their ears away from the sound doctrine? It's what tingling yeah, their ear. The one they want to clap. Oh, I'm a right done, Pastor. Give me five, Pastor. How you are? Hey, yes, Pastor. Oh, say it. Yes, Pastor. Grace, 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 grace. Yeah, pastor, you see, you don't have to confess anymore. Oh, yes, Pastor. Ah, oh, you can claim in and name it. Oh, yeah, Pastor. Ah, oh, give me half, Pastor. <laughs> because that is what they want to hear. But when you hear the sound doctrine that will tell you, watch out. Watch out. Because you don't know the day Father God will come. The one that will tell you, watch out what comes in your heart. What you welcome in your heart, what you welcome in your mind. Watch out over sin. Watch out over wickedness. Ah, you don't like those preachers. Ah, those preachers are forget about those preachers. How can I be listening? Ah, you don't, uh, don't do this, don't do this, don't do that. It's not the preacher that telling you don't do it. It's the word of God. The preacher loves you so much and telling you the truth. He's not lying you to have fire. He's, he's, that he's teaching you so that you can stand firm. On that day, you see your master Jesus. You will enjoy from a everlasting to a everlasting with Father God. But if you don't listen, you said, I don't want to hear all those same, same preachers. I don't want to hear those ones. You want the one that, clap, that, that clapping for you, that petty you is saying, continue in that saying. You love those ones. You clapping for them. Church, church of God, supposed to be when we come. No, 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 no laughing and clapping. Okay? You, before you go out of the presence of God, you sober. You sober, oh my father, forgive me, Lord. Father, I have said, I told this, oh, Father God, that this person speak to me, he speak like this, I am bitter. Oh, Father God, I'm so angry. Oh, Father God, please, I lie. Oh, Father God, please, oh, I did this now to this person. Oh, Father God, I cheated. You sober before leaving there. You sober by you, repenting. Nothing, but, but so five, give me five. No, continue, Pastor. No. No, you know, because it's that time you see 
The word of God is touching your heart. The word of God is breaking that sony heart, that wicked heart, taking it out. Now you are breaking. Then you are breaking. You are asking God, mercy, 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 Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, forgive me. Father, I've done this wrong. Please, please forgive me. Please. And you know, your heart, I know my heart. Praise my Father Jesus. Please, we should not be, I want to hear the one that clapping. There's many that, that think, that follow this clapping, they say, you no. Know? Pastor Radon, Pastor Radon, ah, five pastor. They close their eye in there. They find themselves in, in the hellfire right now. You know what they are doing? Ah, Father God, let my pastor come to this hellfire. My pastor didn't teach me. My pastor didn't tell me this is sin. My pastor didn't tell me this is sin. My pastor just said, let this pastor, the pastor, let it come from. Do you know our God really well? God is not answering you. That pastor, that, that answer, you know our God. Oh, our God is too good. Oh, Father Jesus, have mercy. The God you are nice, sir, the God of justice. If that's your pastor, eh? That one that crying, crying, crying in the hellfire right now, said because of pastor didn't preach the sound doctrine. It may sir or he now lost uh, the salvation is in there. He didn't want, is in the hellfire. Do you know what? Is that person say, Father God, bring this pastor to hellfire. Let this pastor come and first stop by this hellfire. The moment, if that pastor find the grace and repents, that pastor is going to heaven. That pastor is going to heaven. That your preacher will go to heaven if he repents. Your prayer, you are praying, that prayer that that person that is in the hell for you are praying. God will not answer that prayer. Please let us go, to, let us quick turn to the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel 3. Praise Master Jesus. The book of Ezekiel. Oh, my friends. Book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel. Let's all turn to the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel 3:18. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I read in Jesus' name. The book of Ezekiel 3:18. Hmm. Praise Master Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. I read in Jesus' name. Okay. Hallelujah. Mm. I read in Jesus' name. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt not surely die, and the thou that give thee the give it to him not warning. None that speaketh at you, the one at the wicked. From a his the wicked away, to the serve his the life. The same a wicked man shall die in a his iniquity, but a his the blood will I require at the hand. Are you hearing? When somebody is doing something that you know this is evil, this is sinful thing. Tell that person, because you love that person so. You don't want that, that person to die in, in, that, in that person's sin. Tell that person. Because when you tell that person, God knows you have, do, you have done your, 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 your duty. But if you know the person doing something wrong, you just supporting that person, you advising that person to continue in that wickedness. Father God said that person died. The blood of that person is in that person's son. Ministers of God, wherever you are, please watch over your, over, over your ship. Please tell them the truth. Tell them, see, we tell them, see, we tell them to have fire. Tell them, see, we tell them to have a wicked and we tell them to have fire. For them to run away. Lying, lying, you know, disobedience to the word of God. You and I should not say because uh, we, we are preachers uh, and saying uh, one of the members uh, have the gift of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, healing, have the gift of uh, doing one thing and another in the house of God. And you see that person is a fornicator, is an is adulterer. You see, I love that person. You don't want that person. The gift is not the one that would get you and I to heaven. 
It's not their gift. Their gift is, is, is good. They are not to, to do the work of God. Yes. But you and I must obey God. You and I must obey God. You and I must obey God. So in the book of Revelation 21, let us turn there. The book of Revelation 21, 27. We bless the name of the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. If you are the one that says it doesn't matter, it matters. It matters for you packing Jezebel property on your body, packing, you know, all the weak, the weak, the, weak, the attachment. But, you know, you, you said it doesn't matter. Why it doesn't matter? You define your glory. Your hair is your glory. My hair, as a woman, our hair is our glory. When you are putting those Jezebel property there, what do you think? What do you think? You think uh, your hair is not defi is defined. The word of the Lord says in the book of Revelation 21, verses 27, I read in Jesus' name. And the dear nation in no wise enter into the east. Anything that have defiled, are you hearing? Anything that defiled will not enter the kingdom of God. Then, listen, we are still reading. Neither, neither whatsoever worketh abomination. Mm. What kind of abomination? Oh, make a lie. Mm. But uh, then uh, which uh, are they written in the, the book in the in the Lamb's book of life? That is it. You and I should not be deceived. This is the word of God. That anything that defiles will not enter the kingdom of God. Define yourself. He said, anything that he said, uh, we women putting all the what pertain to man is an abomination to God. Putting all those jewelries on your body is an abomination. He said, it's an abomination to him. It's an abomination. You cannot change it. I cannot change it. Using the, the makeups, the lipstick, and line, line, and the foundation, using it to defy your face. Anything defiled will not enter the kingdom of God. That is the word of God. So you cannot change it. I cannot change it. Please let us watch of our salvation. You know, our, some, some of our, our brothers out there coming to the house of God, plaiting their, their hair, within their hair. You are the glory of God, man. That is the word of the Lord. Men are the glory of God. Are you wearing those tighter jeans and tighter those uh, sagging your trousers? I say, man, pull it up, pull that trousers up, and buckle your trousers. It's for your good. You are the might of God. Packing tattoo on your body, bleaching your skin. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Ask God for mercy and stop it. Packing earring on your, I said, man, man, packing earring on their ear, packing chains all over them. Please get them out. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Look unto Jesus. Lovely Jesus loves you. Please, let us watch over our salvation. Lovely Jesus loves us. Ask for mercy. If Almighty God is speaking to you, one thing and another, ask for God for mercy. Ask God to give you the grace to get rid of those property of Jezebel, all those things that is not pleasing to God, in and out. Let God give you the grace to get rid of those ugly things, ugly character, ugly behavior in your life. Tell God to give you the grace. I should get tell God to give me the grace. He loves you so much. He doesn't want to miss you. He doesn't want you and I to cry had I know that day. He loves you. This is the message of today. This is the message of today. May the Lord quicken us. May the Lord speak to, speak to us, minister to us. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see this message by the precious blood of the Lamb of God. Father, I use this message for your glory, Lord. Father, I use this message to, to bring transformation to your children, Father, for your glory. Give your children the grace to come by their love, loving you more and more every day of their lives, Almighty God. Father, that spirit that quenching that love, quenching your love, quenching your zeal in their heart, Father, bond those spirits and cast it out of their lives, oh Lord. Father, feed them afresh with your Holy Ghost, that we teach them, that we guide them through all truth for your glory, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
God bless you, ma'am. More grace for this wonderful message of reminder to hear the voice of God. God has been speaking to us, but the distraction of many is making not to hear, not to understand the voice of God. I thank God for this message because the Bible is telling us that my sheep hear my voice and they, they and I know them. I, they know me and I know them and they follow. Following the voice of God is to obey the word of God. Hearing the voice of God is to obey the word of God. The Bible says, no, Lord, the world, neither the thing of the world. When you are still attached to the things of this world, you are not hearing the voice of God talking to you. When you are still using the language of it doesn't matter, you are not one of the sheep. You don't, you don't do part of is uh, you know you are not a part of a sheep that hear his voice and follow the voice of god is to obey the commandment of god and to be the doer of it the bible is telling us in amos 3 3 that the two cannot work together except agree so when you are working with the property of jezebel you agree with satan you agree with jezebel herself because when you are working with the holy spirit you obey the holy spirit you follow the instruction of the holy spirit that's why the bible is telling us you understand God is telling you that this is sin. It is a sin. Whatever God says in the book of in his, in the Bible that it is an abomination. There's nothing. Not the amount of prayer and fasting will change. Abomination, it is an abomination. Sin, it is a sin. That's why the word of God is telling us that we should not allow sin to have dominion over us. God gave us dominion over everything on this earth. We read it so early. And the Bible is telling us that God created us in, in, in his own image. But anything that you want to take us out of the image of God, it is an abomination and you should not follow it because it's going to condemn us. The day will come and it's, it's, we are closer to that day that we need to go back where we came from. And we need to stand in the judgment of God presenting ourselves with the image God has created you. You are bleeding your skin. You are wearing this. What the woman of God said is very true because all of us, we know that it's true. When you, when, you, uh, when you don't make up, when you don't make up, I mean, when we was in the world then, I'm not talking about after knowing the truth, before when we was living in darkness through ignorance. When you are without makeup, the way you work is different. When you make, there is a spirit behind this makeup and that spirit brings pride. When you make yourself, you want people to notice you. When you are wearing a slippers or flat, flat shoes, the way you are going to work is completely different from where you put, you put high heels. The high heels will change you. You make sure you are you you shake your waist in a very different way, and you 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 work in a very delicate way, and you really want to show up. You understand? You want people to know you, to notice something different in you. That is the demonic image that God doesn't want us to have as a children of God. He wants us to be natural the way he has created us without allowing any demon to have dominion over our life. Because if the Holy Spirit is not leading you, then another spirit, and the Holy Spirit doesn't, want, doesn't like disobedient children, it will come out of you. And another spirit, we know when the spirit of God left King Saul, is another spirit that was tormenting him. And he noticed that that spirit was not from God. He noticed it, but he did not repent for that spirit to come out. So the Bible is telling us when you repent, don't just repent, be converted. Change from the daughter of Jezebel to the daughter of Zion, to the daughter of God. There must be difference be between Jezebel children and the children of God, those that are crucified the flesh, those that are not allowed the sin to have dominion over them. There is, they have to be different. So if you have been disobedient to the word of God, if you've been using the word, it doesn't matter. Today, as you hear this opportunity, don't take it for granted. You've been taking it for granted all this time. Maybe this is your last warning. Maybe this is your last warning and you don't know. Don't think that all this message is for somebody that was not here. It's for you and I. The Bible says if you fail in one point, you are guilty on all. There is a point that the enemy is accusing you, and it's today that you need to hear the voice of God calling you into repentance, calling you to amend your ways, calling you to go back where you have started, calling you to be restored, wherever the enemy is trying to quench your fire. 
so that on that day he will not take you unaware. You see the 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 the, the case of the the foolish virgin, the carelessness. Maybe they have makeup in their face. When they were trying to go and clean their face, they already late. When they were trying to go and remove trousers to wear skirt, it was already late. Because Jesus is not going to wait for you. He's not going to wait for us. He gave us enough time to prepare. And by the time you come back, you don't want to hear any excuse. Those that are ready, whether they are five, whether they are three, whether they are two, is the one that is going to take just like in the time of Noah, how many people were ready? Just like in time of Lot, how many people were ready? As the woman of God said, in that day, how many people was in the in earth? But only one person was qualified. Only one person was accepted. Only one person that God recognized is Enoch. Do you think Enoch did not have children? He has children. He has wife. He has in-laws. He has neighbors. He has families. But how many people was and now it was, uh, was, you know, was written on that day. How many people that the word of God said that he walked with God? When we say salvation is individual, this is not the time to follow multitude to commit evil. The salvation is, is individual. There's a particular verse in a book of Ezekiel. He says when God to want to destroy a city, even if, if that city was just like Daniel, there because of his righteousness who save only him he was not going to save his children he's not going to save his wife he's not going to save his family we should we should work our salvation with fear and trembling we should really pay attention what the word of god is saying that because whatever we are doing is the word of god that is going to judge us and when the woman of god when the servant of god when the pastor are preaching the word of god don't say this pastor this minister because the word is not coming from the minister but it's coming from god it is the word of god that minister loves you that pastor loves you i thank god for one video that i saw somebody posted in my page they came to this pastor. I believe this pastor been warning people in his church. I believe that pastor was warning people about the message of holiness or righteousness. You understand? Maybe they were not listening. So in that particular day, a member of the church wanted to, to, get, to get married. A member of the church wanted to get married. He now put all those property of Jezebel. In the middle of the, the you know, it's the time they call the pastor to come and, you know, uh, um, to bless them. You know what the pastor said? He just said, bring water. Bring he took one towel, small towel. He dip it in the water. He start cleaning the face of the woman. He said, he cannot wait a woman that has the property of Jezebel. He must remove it all before he bless them. That is the fear of God in the life of that pastor. He, he refused to compromise. He maybe was preaching to them, they did, not, they did not obey. And the pastor said, I will teach you a lesson that you never forget. The, 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 the fiance was there standing. The bridegroom was there standing, see what the pastor is doing, how long it took. And as he was cleaning the face, he was appointing another person to remove the nail varnish. In, 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 <laughs> it was terrible. I said, thank God for this. If all the pastor are like this, ah, people will change very quickly. You understand? He refused to compromise. That is the somebody that is hearing the word of God. And it's not just the hearer only, but also the doer as the book of James 1.22 says. So we are going to pray, not just for ourselves, but for the body of Christ. We are going to, to, to pray for those, our brethren, that are still struggling. They think that God will overlook their sin just because they are doing miracles, just because they are praying, just because they are doing whatever they are doing in the house of God. But we, you and I, we know that the prayer of a sinner, it is an abomination. And every sin is a sin. Whether you are putting it inside in your body or whether you have it in your heart, sin is a sin. So let us pray quickly before we pray for the woman of God in the name of Jesus. Let us pray, God, to open the eyes of our brethren, those that see struggling with worldliness and they have the zeal to serve God, but is using the worldly thing. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we commit to Lord Jesus, Father, the beauty of Christ, all of us. Those that are still struggling, those that are still struggling to accept the message of God. Those that are still struggling, Father, we come for the instruction of the Lord. Those that are not hearing your voice, find your name, open the eyes of Lord Jesus, because of us at the Lord. Open the eyes of Lord Jesus, because of us at the Lord. Repent, Lord Jesus, Father, for the thing that we have to do. Open the eyes of 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in Jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah we are going to pray for the man of God that God to you that make ourselves available to obey the voice of God and to deliver this message the way God wants us to receive it in the name of Jesus. Let us pray for her, for God to restore her back in the name of Jesus, to fill her with a fresh anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, Lord Jesus, Christ, and Father, we commit yourself unto the Lord, Father, that you use out of the blessing, God, Father, for us, O Lord Jesus. Father, we commit all of you to the blessing, God, Father, Lord Jesus, Christ, and Father, bless her in return, O Lord, Father, Jesus, Father, anoint her at fresh, fresh anointing, O Lord Jesus, Father, continue to use her mighty, O Lord, Father, for your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, Christ, and Father, Lord, Father, thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, for your life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, for using her, O Lord Jesus. Father, to this message of reminder, Father, we thank you. We glorify your holy name. We give you the praise for our lives, O Lord. Father, no weapon of passion against us shall prosper. Father, cover how the blood of Jesus, cover how Father, with your divine protection. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. More grace, my sister, more grace, more grace, more anointing in the name of Jesus. Now it is the time of our contribution. The Bible says, you know, that's why the, we just hear the message of hearing the voice of God. And this is, is one of the voice of God remind, reminding us the things that is pleasing him and what is not pleasing him. The Bible says in Malachi 3, verse 8, it says, will a man rob God? Yeah, ye have robbed me. But ye say, Where, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithe and offering. How do we rob God in tithe and offering? When you don't pay your tithe, you are robbing God. Because when it comes to the tithe on offering, I'm not preaching about tithes. I'm not saying that you, you must give by force, but I'm talking about obedience to the word of God. Because we pay tax to the government. We pay tax. Even we pay our taxes sometimes is more than 10%. We pay VIT, we never complain. We pay tax, we never complain. But when it comes to the tithe and offering, we start murmuring because the enemy wants us to fall in one point. The enemy wants us to rob God. When you cannot rob the government, you are robbing God. It's a sin in the eyes of God. So we are going to pray now. We are going to give our tithe and offering. The, the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. The, 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 the obedience is better than sacrifice. Let us obey the word of God. Let us hear the word of God, the voice of God by obeying the word of God. Hallelujah. So bring your tithe and offering, wherever you have. Put your hand in your pocket, wherever you have. May the Lord continue to increase you. Your way. He says, He said, Bring ye all your titles into, into the, the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now wherewith, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven. You see, some people they don't get blessing because they don't know how to collect blessing. So it will, bless, it will open the windows of heaven, and the devourer is not going to devour what God has blessed you with. Hallelujah. So as I sing this song, you prepare your tithe and offering, wherever you have, the 10%. God is not asking for 50 or 40. He's just asking for 10%. It might be too much for you, but it's too more for what God is doing in our life. Hallelujah. I sing in Jesus' name. All I have was given to me by the Lord. All I have was given to me by the Lord. All I have was given to me by the Lord. All I have was given to me by the Lord. All we have been was given to us by the Lord. All we have was given to us by the Lord. All we have was given to us was by the Lord. 
was given to us by the Lord. Whatever we have, he has been given to us by the Lord. Even the grief of life, we don't pay for it. Hallelujah. So let us begin to thank God for those that was able to put something in the, to put something to contribute in the house of God so that you not like meat, you not like anything to do the work of God. So let us pray for them. Those that they don't have, God knows that they don't have. We still have to bless them so that when they'll have, they'll remember to obey the word of God. Hallelujah. So we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, for me, sister, and all of you, Lord, Father, into your hand, Lord Jesus, Christ, and our Lord, Father, as you bless your children, Lord, Father, bless them in return, in the mighty name of Jesus, Christ, and our Lord, those that was not able to put, Lord, Father, you know that they was not able to put, they don't have it, Lord, Father, provide for them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, so that they will, they will have, Lord, Father, they will not forget, Lord, Father, to bless you with, in the mighty name of Jesus, Christ, and our Father, Lord Jesus, Father, prove to us, Lord Jesus, Father, open the windows of heaven for those that have given, Lord, Father, even to those that have not have, Father, still have to open the windows of heaven, Lord, Father, shower them, Lord, Father, shower all of us, Lord, with your blessing, Lord, Father, that your house will not like meat in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Father, we thank you, Lord, Father, for giving, for accepting our tithe and offering in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Father, thank you, Father, thank you, King of Glory. We cover the tithe and offering with the blood of Jesus that the devourer will not be able to touch it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Father, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. And we are going to give our weekly announcement, which remains the same. There is no change so far. By the grace of God, uh, we are coming. We pray. We have um, two sessions in a day for Monday, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. We pray 1 p.m. London time. 1 p.m. London time. We have Monday. We dedicate it just to praise God, to start the week with the blessing of God. Monday. That be 1 p.m. just the present worship. We don't have night vigil, but we have a Bible study and venture sermon at seven at 8 p.m. London time. So we come Tuesday and Thursday, Tuesday, two times. We come 1 p.m. London time to pray without ceasing, as the Bible says. And also at midnight, the Bible says we should not sleep like other, but to be sober into prayer. Amen. So we have uh, our session also of uh, the children's program in the Bible says so we should train them in the way they will go. They will not depart from it. We are talking about our children, godly children in Christ. They come at 6 p.m. on every Saturday. By the grace of God, we also have our general night vigil, which is 7, 11 p.m. London time. That occurs every Friday. Only when you, you have prayer and fasting, then we don't come because you are already praying at 7 p.m. And the first week of the month, the first Sunday of the month, we have our communion. The Bible is telling us to do it in remembrance of him. When you remember what our Lord Jesus has suffered, when you remember the pain of our Lord Jesus went through, you don't want to eat it with guilt in your heart. You want to repent. You want to be sober. You want to be watchful. So we do it in remembrance of him. Hallelujah. That is every Sunday of every first Sunday of the month. And we also have our session of prayer and fasting, just like I said, that is start for the first week of the month because every month carry blessing and also carry cost. The enemy is ready. We call him the, 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 the thief. He came to steal and to destroy and to kill. So he's preparing evil out to destroy, out to drive out, to steal our blessing. So we prepare the prayer and fasting to destroy every plan of the enemy as we are entering for the new month to, to get our blessing, the one that God created for us. Hallelujah. That is the first, if, if the first Wednesday of the month, they just put it this way, we spread Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Hallelujah. And when you have our fasting, then we don't have general night vision, which occur 11 p.m. London time. We also have our Sunday service, like today we start 4 30 London time. May the Lord bless you all. I believe I did not forget anything because on Mondays, like I said, we come 1 p.m. or also 8 p.m. for one, we have a week of venture sermon and week of night video, uh, sorry, a Bible study. That is like tomorrow we are going to have a Bible study. Next Monday, we are going, after next week, we are going to have our venture sermon time. Please don't miss it. May the Lord bless you as you join us in all our program. And I know that your life will not remain the same. You're going to bring transformation in the name of Jesus. So as we come to the end of our program, I'm going to welcome the woman of God for a benediction in the name of Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. We thank God for God. Let us pray. 
Oh, Heavenly Father, we give you all the glory, all the honor, the praise. We thank you, everlasting Father, for blessing us so much with your word. Almighty God, we thank you, Lord. Father, mighty God, as we are right now, we want to go. Each and every one who wants to go, our home, Father, we are not lost. We are living. We are not living your presence. Oh, Lord, abide with us, guide us, protect us, send your angel to encamp around each and every one of us, Lord, for your glory in Jesus' name. Father, let this way be a, a wake of blessing to each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Father, mighty God, bless us with good health in Jesus' name. Name, Father, and help us to draw closer to you, loving you more, knowing you more, obeying your word in the name of your Father. God, we love you. We bless your only Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let us share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord, of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the grace of God, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Oh, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. 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 Amen.